Good afternoon, YouTube modeling community. Robert Bishop from RB Model Works coming at you from Moscow, Idaho. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, been kind of a hectic summer so far. Uh, cleaned off my bench. Really started to try to get it organized. Uh, I had five builds going on at one time. I got these little gems at uh, Amazon. They were a four pack for under $30. But you can see they uh, hold all the parts and the body, everything together. Um, so I'm just trying to get uh, organized. Anyway, um, this is a uh client build that i'm doing i've already built a 63 but uh i posted it on uh, wood brothers website and this guy wanted one so bad he begged me and begged me for three weeks and i finally just said all right i'll i'll do you one now he wants not only tiny lunge 63 daytona winner but he wants uh pearson 72 and 76 montego by the time I'm done, he'll have more Wood Brothers cars than me. <laughs> no, I doubt it. But anyway, uh, some of the basics. Um, cut out all the exhaust off of here. There's two big humps here. Had to cut those out so I can get the um, exhaust that goes through the, the uh, frame like that. And then uh, I've got the cutouts on the car on the side where the exhaust comes out. But I got I got it all kind of cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to put on the first coat of, of uh, primer today. See where I'm at body work wise. Um, got the dash all done. Let me just pull this apart. This is all kind of piece together on this uh what i did is i cut the back seat out and then just created panels in there for the back seat cut out the hump this is um tubing um uh, i don't know what size right off hand i put it back away i do believe uh, but i cut the tubing in half and glued that there then I put little strips of styrene up to the firewall and then filled it with uh, um, glazing putty. So that's ready to get in primer. And then this is the uh, PPP roll cage. Uh, that's ready to go in primer. And then the dash. Uh, cut out the speaker or heater vent, whichever that is up there and put a cover plate on that and those are mastercraft uh or master club bolt detail uh radio face cover and uh heater controls and then i just put a plate on the gauges after i peeled it down cleaned it up those i'll just put three gauges in and create my own bezels and get that done there then this is one of my modified seats, my cast resin. Um, you see a lot of the older cars have a bar connected to the seat. That's what I simulated there. And then cleaned up the firewall, put some more bolt details on the uh, brake uh, master cylinder. Then created a, a cover plate uh, for like heater core or whatever. Just cleaned up that and... Uh, air cleaner uh, that Salvino's base and then I created with putty and file created that uh, kind of connector that'll go to the firewall so that's it uh, these are real simple 
uh, kits. Uh, there's not a lot of parts. There's not a lot of detail to them. Um, you know, like I said on the body, all I did was cut out the pipe cutouts here. There's some uh, scallops back here. Uh, whoops. There's some scallops back here. And then I shaved off the uh, windshield wipers. Um, got everything de-chromed. Um, these older cars, I just like to do my own chrome. I, I like to do my own chrome period. It just looks more correct. But before before I start, what I use, I was I, I had an issue, um, like three or four paint jobs. Um, and after I wash the car and clean it and, you know, you handle it and stuff like that, I just couldn't figure out what the hell, you know. I had these just odd spots of chemical intrusion, you know, where you get fish eyes and stuff. So uh, I started using this. Uh, this will be my fourth kit that I've used this stuff on. It works awesome. It... Uh, cleans and deglosses your body just absolutely gets all the grease and varnish and dirt and everything off your car and uh you don't have to wash it afterwards it's ready to paint over you let it dry for about 10 minutes and and that's about it um but since i started uh using this stuff i don't have any issues with fish eye or any chemical intrusions anymore um, you know, a lot of times you'll get, if you're touching stuff with your hands, I cannot, uh, you can see I've got a big tear there on my finger. Uh, but the, you know, just the grease and oil on your hands, uh, will screw your paint job up. So what I started doing using this and just, it's just a basic quick wipe down and then I won't touch it again with my hands uh, after I do this step and if I do have to touch it I will go back over I will go back over that area once again with this stuff. And usually I do this after it's on the paint stand. But it's nice because it gets all your sanding gunk and um, just cleans up everything nicely. And actually I'm going to use my rag. And then what I do once this dries, I will actually use... Uh, I use a tack cloth. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It's um, Duragold. I get these off of uh, Amazon. And then I cut them into strips. And then just use them like that. Uh, it's wax and silicone free. Anti-static. Um, this Krug cutter is also anti-static. These are anti-static. And then right before I just bought this, um, I used to I used to use a couple of these, but I wasn't just getting all the dust off. So I finally broke down and spent the twenty bucks to get uh, to get the best. And this is uh, and this is the best. So what I will do is, and it's warm in here, so. You, that's already dry. I will go over this with the tack cloth and then I spray my air booth down with water uh, to keep the dust down. And then once I load up my airbrush, I'll go back over this again and just brush this off. And this is an anti-static brush as well. So you're, you're eliminating every possibility humanly possible on collecting dust but that's it i'm gonna go ahead and throw some primer on this stuff and i'll be right back 
All right, we're back at the bench. We got uh, everything primered up, as you can see. Uh, see, with the process that I do, and this body was sanded with six and eight hundred grit. Um, gives it a nice smooth finish. It is ready to paint. I will hit this um, with 2000 just to smooth it out and flatten it a little bit more. Um, the paint that I will be using is MCW uh, Grand Prix White uh, 2164E. You can see I do a big bottle. Um, I These are um, old uh, Mr. Hobby leveling thinner bottles. And I just pour, uh, I'll buy four at a time and pour in here, do my 50-50 split, and then it's, it's good to go. Um, but I'll be using that and... MCW Candy Apple Red. The earlier versions of Wood Brothers were Candy Apple Red. Even the later versions were too, but they used a gold, a clear gold tincture over the top. Um, instead of trying to copy that, Model Masters came out with this beautiful kiln red. You can see the, I, I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's some beautiful gold flake in, in there. So, 63, um, I'll use the Candy Apple Red, the 64, 65, um, I forget what color those dark red cars are, um, 67 through 78. I will use this stuff. So, but anyway, uh, you can see the uh, Bondo crack back here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use um, super glue, CNA, to do that. Um, I just don't like the way that cracked up. Um, so I'll do that, but uh got my all my other stuff uh in primer ready to go. Um my bumpers um these will get a nice gloss black coating on them. And then I'm going to use let me see if I can find it real quick and I'll be using S SMS Chrome you can see on the bottle how Chrome it looks um, this is some real nice stuff uh, but I'll be re-chroming that uh, just another shout out for this new company uh, Gallery G-A-A-H L-E-R-I. I don't know if you can read the numbers on there. But this is their, their lower level GHAD-39 airbrush. And let me tell you, I'll leave a link to this in the description. This thing is just that I've replaced my Iwata, my Badger, and my Pro Convoy with this. I just love this thing. It works. I, I'm going to get a couple more. They're like 45 bucks. Um, but you can get three needle sizes for it. It comes with two. So yeah, actually this one you can get two. Uh, so I'll get one more so I can keep the 0.38 in one and the 0.5 in another. And that way I don't have to change tips and, and stuff on this. But I love the design I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that up. No, it's just not going to focus. But there, there's little grooves on the side of the, the nozzle 
that are airports instead of most airbrushes that have um, one or two holes in the end of the needle to push air and pull the paint through on a gravity feed this one has eight that pulls from all sides and pushes the paint through you can see by the paint on this it's super smooth it atomizes the paint extremely well uh, very very happy best best airbrush that uh, I have in my arsenal and I've got about eight so, but anyway, that's about it. Uh, um, Grand Prix Wright, Candy Apple Red. The interior will be an off-white. Um, the seat's going to be a dark red satin. Uh, chrome Chrome. Dash is black. Cage is black. Um, I'm going to use some of my Jump Wind paint. Um, dark iron on the uh, exhaust manifolds uh, and that's about it so once I get into uh, a little further stage oh here's my chassis up here I had it hanging um, and basically I kind of do this and jazz up all my jazz my chassis uh, when I cut out those two pieces to allow the exhaust to go through, I just use some styrene to jazz it up and kind of give it a floor pan look. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Uh, appreciate you tuning in and watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. If not, peace and have a great day.